Now, the Christmas TV schedule is bringing up a host of surprises. Last night, BBC One premiered a behind-the-scenes documentary focusing on King Charles's coronation year. The Princess Royal took a starring role, providing heartfelt commentary. We were given a bit of a fly-on-the-wall look at the life of the new monarch and his big day. <laughs> Are we, do we go and get ourselves organised down there? There was just a really exciting moment of just getting them into that carriage the first time and then we knew we were off. I mean, I thought back of, you know, being two years old and watching the Queen's coronation, you know, on a tiny black and white television. And there goes this golden coach with my sister in it. I can't explain the feeling because it's so surreal and this cannot be happening. Yeah, it was quite a moment. We were ready. We were ready. Right, well, there's a little clip from the BBC documentary on King Charles's first year. Now, I've got royal commentator Jenny Bond joining me now. Jenny, thank you very much. Now, I must admit, I haven't had a chance to watch the whole documentary yet, but I think I will later today. What have I missed? Uh, it was quite long, actually, and <laughs> some of the critics have said it's perhaps a little overlong, but it was a very interesting look behind the scenes. And it was a celebration, actually, not only of, of the royal family, but a celebration of all the work that went into the coronation. So we saw in a great in great detail, you know, the crown jeweller's work, uh, the work of the embroiderers who made up the coronation robe for Camilla. But, I mean, the most interesting bits, obviously, were those little bits of fly on the wall. We saw body language between members of the royal family, which we don't always see. Um, we saw Catherine, Kate being um, very deferential, observing protocol, kissing and then curtsying to um, to Charles. Um, and we saw, I think the Princess Royal, as you said, had a starring role. We saw quite a lot of her. And I love the fact that after the coronation was over, she sort of marched in, wearing a uniform with, with, with trousers, marched in and said, oh, hello, old Bean. And uh, you could see that uh, she and Charles get on brilliantly and how important she is to him as king. Were there any surprises, Jenny? Any relationships that appeared different to what we've known before? No, I don't think so. I think um, you just saw the real warmth of the family. Mm. And I think that, combined with the scenes um, on Christmas Day at Sandringham, show us a family that, despite all the problems and the rifts domestically with Harry and Meghan, the problems with Andrew, um, is united now in many ways. I mean, not with Harry, excluding Harry and Meghan, obviously, but there was a warmth. Uh, about the whole family, um, including Mike Tyndall, I think, who's got quite a lot of publicity because he put his arm almost in a sort of rugby tackle around George's neck and uh, his little daughter Mia was holding his cousin, her cousin Louis's hand. Um, they all get along fantastically well. And Mike Tyndall is almost now, it seems, like the lost uncle. He's not an uncle to the Wales's children. He's a cousin by marriage, but He's like the big uncle and is a good, fun uncle and a very, very good buddy stroke brother to William. Uh, Jenny, why do you think they do these documentaries, just lastly? Oh, they do them quite regularly. I mean, some people have said, oh, this is a strategy, the PR strategy, isn't it extraordinary? But they come out every few years for mm. big anniversaries. Um, and it is partly PR, but it's mostly to allow us to see what goes on behind the scenes. Um, and it doesn't do their, uh, their image any harm at all, it has to be said. <laughs> no, certainly not. Thank you very much for joining me, Jenny Bond, Royal Commentator, on that BBC documentary.